what's up my people how you doing my name is Dalton and this is my channel and yes I'll say it twice you may have to turn up the volume again like in most of my videos until I get my audio fixed you may have to turn up the volume now I ask you to subscribe give any of my videos this video any of my videos you like a thumbs up and I ask you to comment respectfully all right, and share it. Now, basically, I'm trying to make this short and sweet. Uh, a lot of people that have been asking me this question, so I want to make a quick video on it. Uh, I did some reading about it. And this video is about what is a recession because they're throwing that word around. You'll hear it on a lot of different uh, popular YouTube channels, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, somebody got to say the word recession, but they're not telling people what a recession is. So basically, uh, from what I was reading, uh, recession is actually, before you panic, recession is actually natural. Okay, it's like, it's like an adjustment of uh, the economy. All right. And let's say, for instance, when we were in during the pandemic, uh, we couldn't get there weren't enough jobs. OK, because jobs were closing left and right, especially small and medium sized companies were closing left and right. OK, so it wasn't that people didn't want to work. There were no jobs because there were no business. They were closing. So. All of a sudden, in order to help the, uh, uh, the economy, they gave us stimulus. For one, uh, one of many things they gave us, okay? Uh, we're, a recession is when, the reason we're in a recession now, because during the uh, pandemic, a lot of companies were given grants, and then a lot of companies, people were staying home, so a lot of companies were hiring Tons of people spending tons of money, especially on advertisements and things such as that. Uh, once the core phase of the pandemic, yes, we still have a pandemic, but once, once that core phase, uh, you know, dissolved, all right, then companies have to start making adjustments. Because now there are jobs for people to have because there are businesses that are hiring. So it's not like it was in the pandemic, okay? But also when it comes to a, this adjustment that it has to make, it has to make it because things are not the same that it was. So what happens is the stock, the stock market goes down, okay? So this really, as you and I know, you know, for instance, when it came to AIDS or anything else, uh, it never became an epidemic until it started to, start to affect the rich and famous. Then it became an epidemic even though technically it was an epidemic way before then, okay? So when the stock market goes down, it affects the rich and upper middle class. I mean, it affects everybody, but especially, and it has a trickle-down effect, but especially affect the rich and the um, uh, upper middle class, you know, upper echelon, all right? And it scares people okay so people start saving and stop spending okay and it has that trickle down effect more people start saving and stop spending now they're not making these companies are not making the same amount of revenue so what they have to do is what you see a lot of tech companies doing 
but it won't be just tech. It'll be all all the way across the board. I don't care if it's McDonald's, all the way across the board. It, uh, but the tech companies are doing exactly what happens in recession: is they cut they cut staff, they lay people off. Okay, I'll give you uh, I'll give you uh, instance. Um, Instacart, for instance. Instacart, I used to work for them, okay, part-time. Uh, I was connected to the company, okay. They eliminated anything dealing with part-time. And most people say, well, they're retail. No, Instacart is retail slash tech, okay, because they use a lot of technology, including retail. Okay, so you use a lot of technology as well as retail resources when it comes to Instacart. So they cut off anything. I'm talking area supervisors, anything slashed. Okay, just eliminated. Dealing with part time. They they did the same thing. They did a little earlier, but they did the same thing that a lot of these tech companies are doing. Microsoft, Apple, just a lot of these tech companies. You know, one called Snap, S N A P. Uh, you know, uh, Salesforce. All these, a lot of these tech companies, uh, they're laying off. Okay, they what they're doing is they're adjusting to the new normal. Okay. Because things are not the way, and that is just a uh, recession is normal. Okay, it doesn't get a good light, but it's a normal uh, phase of uh, economics and economy. Okay, it's almost like an evening out. Okay, because for the last two years, how things were, there aren't anymore, and. Now, they have to, these companies have to adjust, and they will adjust more and more. And like I said, don't just get focused on tech companies. That's what you're seeing hit, being hit hard right now, but it's not just tech. It's all the way across the board, okay? Now, when people get laid off, they don't have very much money or is as much money to spend okay whether unemployment or not or they're dipping into their savings they don't have that extra money to spend if they're not spending then you know if they're not buying then you really don't need all that workforce okay and you don't the company really don't have the amount of money to uh run ads like especially on social media i mean it really affects social media for instance because ad revenue goes down considerably okay there's people whose ad revenues have went down to where they were getting paid like myself something maybe once two times a month you don't get paid anything for another for whole six months all right if you're a small channel I mean, that's how it works because the companies are not buying ad space because they cannot afford it. They're adjusting. So, um, and also people begin to panic. That's one thing. So when people panic, they don't spend. They save, they don't spend, and then the economy kind of gets into a stalemate. All right? So then that even... uh, creates more uh, friction in a recession, okay, than, than it would if they did spend. So there you go. That's a recession. Now, the quickest way to help through a recession, this is my opinion, of course, is from what I'm reading, is to give stimulus checks or to do, I believe it's called a, universal income okay and basically let's say if they got gave a stimulus check for twelve hundred dollars right but they'll give it out within 
in a three month span. So you get four hundred dollars the first month, four hundred dollars the second month, four hundred dollars the third month. So that would increase the flow of money into economy. You get what I'm saying? That's one way they can do it to help fight off a recession. But recessions is normal, okay? And recession is not all bad. That's what a lot of people don't know. Recessions, if people have been saving their money and just waiting, let's say if they wanted to get uh, stock, get into a stock game and get stock in Apple, or Microsoft, or some even gas, then uh, what they do is this. Uh, this is that that's the perfect time to get some because stock prices are lower in a recession. So that's when you buy. Okay. You don't go crazy, but you do buy because you know if you're patient and you stick with it, it's going to go back up. Okay. And then you can get some of them stocks that you've been eyeing for a long time. So also real estate. Real estate prices usually go down. Nobody's buying. So, boom, good time to get into real estate and buy up some of that land you've been eyeing, okay? So, that's what I'm saying. Um, every situation has a good and a bad. You just have to educate yourself on it and find it, okay? And that, that includes recessions, okay? For instance, a company, let's say Apple. Apple could, uh, during a recession, they could take money they has on um, sitting aside and actually buy out buy up inexpensive land because the land prices go a real estate goes down they can buy up tons of land okay because then when things go back to normal recessions do not last all times and there's different levels of recession light recession heavy recession okay so they do not last forever all right. Most older people right now, six my age, or even older, and I'm 58, we've been through a recession. They don't last forever. Uh, it's just that people freak out, especially young people that never went through one freak out. Okay. Uh, but recession is good for certain things. If you're look, looking to buy real estate, good time because really the prices usually go down real low uh it goes low uh stocks you know stock market usually go in the red so the prices of stocks go low amazon all that stuff amazon apple microsoft or whatever you want to get into uh toilet paper you know essential goods that's the perfect time to get some of them stock because it's lower okay uh, and so you just have to educate yourself on it, all right? So that's it. That's what I want to tell you about recessions, and recessions do not last forever. Uh, recessions are natural, uh, just like a lot of things in life, okay? It's a natural part of an economy, and uh, you can make it through one. And if you, if you have money saved, you know how to take advantage of it, okay? And I mean that in a positive way, all right? And I should talk to y'all later. So that is what, in my opinion, what a recession is. Sure, you can also educate yourself and go more deep into this or that aspect of a recession. They're out there. The information's out there. Educate yourself, okay? But yeah, do people lay off? Yeah. Yeah, like you wouldn't believe it, you know, they have to, it's an adjustment, okay, and then when the recession is over, they begin to hire again. Also, some of the very, very important thing is just because inflation, you can get control of inflation, that is no guarantee that there will not be a recession, remember that. Okay, two very different aspects of the economy. Sometimes they do affect each other, but one 
getting control of one does not guarantee you will not have the other. All right? Peace, y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon.